Okay. Hello, welcome back. So today's is let's just change this. Okay. Today is Photoshop. I'm gonna make a couple of banners for my YouTube and Facebook. So first thing we need to do Yeah, okay, that should work now. Yeah. Let's try that. So we're gonna open Great. So this is the ban banner size for YouTube, that's right, we want YouTube. So the YouTube banner sizes, I'll just pull it up. I'm still learning, so it's 2048 by 1152. So this is it here on the side. And we're going to start off with, we're just going to zoom out. Just we'll just start with that. How about that? Okay, first thing we're gonna to do is I want to add some of my photos. So let's add this photo and then I also want to add I'm just gonna add a couple of photos to start with. I'm gonna keep it very similar to another my other banner I have. What should be our theme? I think it might be night time maybe. Maybe we can put a bit of a boat in it. And we might have a bit of a sunset I reckon. We might have a sunset in the background. I think that would look cool I reckon. Um. Okay, so I've opened these photos. These are all my photos I've taken. I will do a episode on how I did this. So I've followed someone else's instructions and I will follow that instruction and show you later. Um, so first we want this screen. We want to double click on it and turn it into a layer. So that's our background layer. I want to have the background layer if I just push G. So if you push G it takes you to, straight to the bucket and we're going to turn it to that colour. You can have whatever colour you want, we're going to go with that colour today. Then we're going to go back up here. Okay. I reckon we will start with um, let's start with this photo. So we're going to do the same, turn that into a layer, copy, then go here and we want to paste it. Okay. Now we're just going to make it to the size we want it. This will be our main feature of our photo. It's probably a quicker way to do this, but I'm just going to do it this way. Um, if you miss out on the stream, I will be uploading them to YouTube after this. I know this, this one's a little bit blurry, but it's okay. Okay, so we're going to make it a little bit smaller and I think we might put this one down, should we put it in the middle or 
up the top. I reckon we might put it up the top. And a little bit bigger. Up the top and a little bit bigger. Maybe. No. Okay, we're not going to go that photo. This is all a bit of test and area. But we definitely might use this one. Um, so we're going to paste this. And we might make this as the centerpiece. And then we'll just work everything around it. So place it where I want it. I want it in here. I'm going to rename it. Um, sorry, I've never, I haven't really renamed them. And let's just call it. Okay. So then we want to go up here. And because I want to blend it in, we're going to call a layer mask and I just use this top one here I um, there's probably other options but this is an option I want to do we're gonna make this a little bit make sure it's a hundred percent you can change this if you want but I'm just gonna keep it all the way well and we're going to I'm just going to write around this. Just make it a little bit of a gap. We can need it, tidy this up in a sec. Okay. Now we can just colour all this in. Colour, colour, colour. Okay. So this is going to be our master piece bit. And then everything else will kind of merge in with this. This is a photo I did earlier today. I really liked how I did this. I reckon I might do a couple more like this. Um, it's probably an easier way to do this, but I'm just going to do it this the way I know. And here we can just go a little bit closer here. Okay, let's go back along here and fix this up. Okay. So that's still going. We want to fix this up while we go. So it looks all nice and smooth. I'm really liking this new tool. So I'm using one of those, the tablets. It's connected to my computer. I only got it yesterday, so I'm still learning, so stick with me while I learn how to correctly use it. So we're going to colour all that in. I know that would be an easier way, but I'll just stick with this. Okay. Stick with this. Okay. I'm just going to fix the line up around here. Okay, so we're going to keep going. Keep going around here. We're going to get a close as close as we can to the 
in the picture and okay so we've done that that far sorry Right. You, I use Control Z. I use a Windows, use Windows to undo what I've done. So we're done that. Now, the next thing is we're gonna add a, another photo. So we we got that photo. So we're gonna get rid of that photo there. Now we might add in. The sunset one, I reckon. So again, double click it. Then we're going to copy it. Control C. Then we're going to paste it. And that's Control V to paste. I reckon we're going to put the sunset. So I reckon this one will be all regarding our sunsets. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to turn the capacity down at the moment just so I can see where it's sitting in the photo. So we want to have the jet skis. Do we want the jet skis in the photo? We could have them in the photo. Okay, so we're going to do that. Then we're going to go up, come up here and do this. The same one, then here, and then we're just going to, with the rest, we're just going to we're just going to bring that back into the picture. Hold on. So, uh, we'll outline this. This is going to take a little bit. I'm just going to use my mouse for a sec. This big bit, at least. So that's it, and then we're gonna just take away this bit here for a sec. Just we have the photo there. Bring this up. Bring the capacity back up, and we want to name it um, sunset. Jet skis. So we got that there. We need to fix this light bulb up. This is where we can come back through now. Now we kind of got that line. We can start highlighting it. There you go. And that. Try and get that right curb right there. Yeah. There you go. I'm just going to do that all around it, just like that. 
Okay. Now we're going to go back to this one here. And we're just going to not do that. Okay, so that's our first photo. Let me get rid of that up there. There's a couple bits here. Okay, now we're just going to make sure it's all clear. I wasn't meant to do that top one. So that's that photo done. Now we're going to merge another photo. Let's merge this one. So this one's going to be just all about the Murray River, pretty much. All the photos I've got at the moment of the Murray River. You can see the original photos of these on my Instagram and on my Facebook group. Okay, so we just want kind of the paddle steamer in that one. So let's let's put the paddle steamer here. Actually, let's put it above. So we want it. Yeah, let's make it there. So we're going to put it there. Same thing. We're going to go up here. I just use the search bar. I find it a lot easier. And then same thing as we did before. And one thing I have learned is to do them in sections. Like stop and that. So when you redo, you don't have to. You can redo the one that you've made a mistake on, you don't have to do the whole picture again. Okay, so that's how that's looking at the moment. So I reckon we'll stick with that. That's looking nice. Now we're going to add another photo. I want to keep the cooker bar there. I want to add that in later. I'm going to go file, open. Yeah, yeah, okay, it can't be seen on that. But I've gone to my folder that I've got all my photos in. And I'm going to pick another couple sunset photos out. Um, um, let's put that one in and that one. And we need one more. I reckon that one. Okay, so I've got my three more photos. So I'm going to start off with this one here. So same thing, unclick. So I'm just trying to work this out so you can see what I'm actually clicking on. Okay. 
Okay, let's see if that works now. There you go, now you can actually see. Sorry about that. So I've got another photo. And I'm just going to work out where I want to put it. I reckon I might put this one down here. Merge it in down here. So again, we're going to go down here to the capacity. We just want enough just so I can see how we're going to merge it in. Um, I reckon we're going to... Oh. Yeah, I reckon we're going to go this side. Yeah, this side's going to look nice. So I'm going to go tick here. This one here, the layer masking tool. And just mask it into that. So we might fix it and just there you go. Okay, so that's that photo. We're gonna now add this one, double click on this to make it layer, push OK, back over here. I'm not entirely sure where we're gonna put this one, but we'll see. So this is my windmill photo. So maybe we'll put it down here, maybe. Merge it in down here. So do the same thing. You wanna once you've finished I haven't been like naming the labels, but you can do that if you want. All you have to do is double click on them. Okay. Back to layer 3 because that's the layer we're doing. Click that again. Go to the mask. And we just want to mask it in. But because we're. Let's go back to the photo. We just want to. That's it. And then back to. Hold on. So we want to go back up here. Because I want to um, mask it, sorry, this is now playing up. Now I moved it. So let's just undo it all. Undo. Grab that. I want to make it a little bit bigger. Then go up here. Push that, and then we're just gonna push that till it merges, and then we want to merge this bit down here. Um, now we want to pull this layer up here because I'm gonna merge it in. Not quite like that. So I'll get the hang of it in a sec. Usually I can merge them together like we have up here. Um, and then back to the tool here. Let's just try that whole photo again. So we want to click on the mask and we want to mask it in. No, okay. Let's just do this. We're going to try that again. So we're going to copy it back in. We're going to straighten it back up because we don't want to cook it. And let's try that again. So tick it up here into that. 
over to here and yeah okay there you go then we want to go down here and we're going to bring this one down a little bit more then we're going to bring this one down a little bit Let's just make the photo a little bit bigger, just so we don't have that kind of crooked, dark line there. Yeah, okay. we got to go back over there. There you go. Cool. We're just going to do this so it merges that back in there. Actually, we might not. Okay, now next photo we want is, let's do this one. We're going to go copy, paste, Okay. So, this is a great photo I took and I love it. It's one of my favourite ones as well. I like all my photos. Most of them, at least. Um, so, yeah, let's do that. And same thing, we want to save it top there down to the paintbrush and we're just going to merge it in just merge it in So it's up to you how you want to do these your photos, but this is how I'm doing mine. I'm just going to bring that capacity down a little bit, just so it looks like it's merging. I'll bring it up a little bit more. Okay, and then we want this to be merged into there. We got them, but we want to go back to this side. I don't know what I just did then. Oh, what did I just do? I know that, but I want to know where that picture just went to. Um, I have no idea where that picture just went to. Let's try that again. Okay. So we're going to put this photo in. Ah, okay. That's where I went to. Just went up there instead. So we want to add that one back where it should be. Because we're in there. I just want to add it. And then we 
just wanna, just wanna just, uh, blend that in. Kinda of looks better. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just gonna do that whole level, that whole one again. Kind of messed it up. So let's try that again. We're gonna put that there. We want the grapes to be merging into them. A bit of everything. Let's go like that. I reckon we'll set it right there. I reckon that will do. I reckon that will look nice. Okay, let's try it again. We'll go up here, push that button, push our paintbrush. I'll do it without a sec, that line. Let's do this top bit first. Okay, I know what the problem is. We didn't click the out. Okay, now it should work. Uh, we're gonna make it a little bit bigger, just to kind of fit it in there. Try to cove that. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so that kind of looks nice. Not quite where I want it yet. So we're just going to... Let's try to get this one in where we want it. That's not what we want. Okay. Um <sighs> I don't know what I've done there. Okay, so I've got that all done. Now we wanna go this side. And we want to merge these in. 
Class side's done. This is not available. Okay, let's just stick with that. And if I go here, layer mask. Hmm. Let's try it again. I must. Ah, oh, I think I know why. There you go. We'll turn this one up a little bit more. Now I know what, why it wasn't working for. So we actually have to click this first, then you're up here. Push that. Yep. We want it on that one. Okay. Cool. First, we might, we might bring this out a bit more, like that. Um, Okay. I'm going good. How about yourself? Not too bad. Um So now we need to find one more photo to upload. Um, so I just gotta.
I'm good. How are you? And thank you for watching. Okay. I just want to add this set uh, just going into the photo a little bit. I was going to do it the other way, but it still doesn't look very nice. Let's try a different way. Let's go here and then let's try. Mm. Okay, it's starting to look a little bit better. I reckon we'll just stick with that one. Okay, now I'm just going to go through and highlight these photos a little bit brighter. Capacity, bring them up a little bit more. Um, okay. We will make this one a little bit lighter. Okay, so I've done that. We're going to add now another photo. I want to add the kookaburra in there somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure where I want to add the kookaburra yet. Let me know if you know where you want to add it. Okay, I'm going to open. I'm going to grab another photo. <sighs> One more photo. Um... We could have added a rainbow in there, maybe we could. Go to the car, uh, waterfall. But we're trying to keep the theme of the Mari. So we might want to keep another photo of Mari River. I reckon this one will look cool in it. Let's try this one. Sorry. Click. Turn that into a layer. Copy. Paste. And let's fix it up. Okay. So I think this is going to look so cool. So I'm going to bring this layer up to the top here. Because I want this layer to be on top of the rest. I'm going to turn it down a little bit just so I can see where it's kind of placing then I'm going to hold that uh, layer mask pick the top one and just dribble it all out again I think it's gone to sleep. Well, wakey wake. Okay. We're going to scribble all that out. I reckon that looks so cool above the waterfall there. I reckon I'm going to leave that up there. 
Oh, fuck. I'll go over in a minute with the final final details in a sec. Okay. What's that look? That doesn't actually look too bad. But we're gonna cover that up anyway. Okay, now we want to go down to this one here. And now we want to go up here. <sighs> um, we want to merge this one into. Hold on. This is the one we want at the top. Let's change this back to how I had it. Okay, so we want that at the top. mask mm. I had this computer. Okay, so about that. My computer's being a bit of a nuisance. Okay. Back to what we're doing. So we're trying to work out this top layer up here. We want to merge them. So we want to. So that's nice and bright. We want to do that. Okay. We want to Turn that one back up to a hundred percent. Okay, now I know what I'm going doing wrong. Okay. I want to make this a little bit wider. I 
over. I set it there. I want to mask it, but first I want to turn this one down for the moment. Okay, now I'm going to go back up here. Keeps going back to that screen. do something. I'm going to try this again. <sighs> Copy, paste. Bring it down to the size we want. I'm going to bring it in so I kind of see where I want to place it. That kind of looks nice there, so I'm going to bring it up a little bit, place it, bring it up. Okay, then I'm going to go this tool up here. Type in layer, pick the one I want. This top one is what I want. Just gonna Okay, now we just get rid of all this other stuff that we don't really want. That still doesn't work. Um, Okay. I'm just going to do one more little thing. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit more. Actually, I'm bringing it up a bit. Okay. To this tool, 
fix it up a little bit more, make it nice and neat. Okay, make sure everything's out of these areas. Then we'll just go a hundred, see how it looks. Um, I'm going to bring it out a little bit more. I actually don't mind that. I'm going to just bring the so it merges a little bit more into it, into the photo. And I'll go 100. This in. Okay, it's really coming along actually. I'm actually liking it. We might put a bird in the middle there. Hide that little. Okay, that's looking nice. Um, no. Didn't fix those little bits up there that are dangling around. Okay, so we got that. I'm happy with that. Okay, last feature for this copy and paste. We want to rearrange that, and I reckon we're going to put the kookaburra right about here. Let's make it a little shadow. Okay. Ah. I'm going to put him on top. Color all that out. Without cutting his face out. I'll just quickly go over him and then we'll come back and fix him up.
could always move him somewhere else. Actually, I don't think it'll look. I reckon we'll stick with that. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon we'll go with that one for the uh, YouTube cover. Yeah. I reckon we'll do that. So, I'm just going to save as Facebook. Wait, as a YouTube channel. YouTube banner. And I'll save it, edit copy and then I'll save another copy as P PNG okay I will also save that as that so that is done for that one bring back eight that will do so that is for that one so if I just close all these quickly and then we can move on to our Facebook cover this is pretty straightforward kind of I'm surprised how quick I've picked up being able to merge photos it's not the best right here but it's okay for the moment okay so I want to go new but I'm just gonna quickly open um, this is the one I want so we need it to be by 820 20 by 4 6 2 high correct so I've created that now we'll open a couple photos um open I just want to show you this. this is what I did earlier if you haven't seen on my so this is what the end result for that one we just did would be and then this is the one I had before I made with a cooker bar, a bit of water, fireworks, and my logo. I really like this one. Um, I'm thinking we might, with a YouTube one, we probably should have put my logo across the middle. We might actually still do that, actually. Um, I'm just going to open my logo copy paste and I'll just have my logo in the middle here somewhere there you go right in the middle uh, save as PNG, uh, JP, JPEG um, it can replace Yes, I want to replace it. Yes. Okay, so we've done that one. That the YouTube one's finished now. I will get rid of my logo. So this one here we're doing now is my Facebook cover page. So we're gonna open, we're gonna look at some photos. I know a lot of people like this one on mine. The 
we mill? Um, what else should we pick? Um... Hmm, I'm trying to work out photos that I want to put on in it. Um. I actually came to thinking we could make a photo and then put all my firework photos on that. I reckon that could be a cool way to do it. Okay, I reckon we might do that. Okay, let's pick a photo. Let's pick a nice outdoor photo. Um... Because so I'll use these fireworks photos. But I reckon we should do... I can make it into... I think I've got some night photos up here somewhere. Or maybe I don't. I got these ones from last year. Um... I reckon we might... Let's try this. I'm going to grab one of these ones. We're going to turn it into a layer, copy it, paste it, shrink it. Copy, paste, shrink. We're not entirely sure how I'm going to get this done, but we'll see. It's actually pretty small. So, I'm going to sit here and think about this for a sec, just to work out how I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to have a drink while I think about it. If you have any ideas, chuck them in the comments. Um, change of plan, I'm going to pick a couple different photos out, I'm going to go open, I really like these, I'd like to do a couple more of these maybe and have them in, yeah I think we'll do a couple more of the light bulbs images and then we might merge them all kind of together how can that look cool look pretty cool yeah i reckon we'll do that so to do them we're just gonna it's pretty much like what we've been doing i just got this from not that one i just got the, this these images off the internet so we've got Image that we want. Oh, keep using the wrong one. Open. Mm. 
the edit. So first one, I reckon we might do. I reckon that boat image that I have will look really nice. Really nice in here. Where is it? Oh, let's do this one. I reckon this will look nice in it too. Yeah, so I reckon we're going to do this photo first. So just like the other one, click, turn it into layer, copy. First, before we copy that one, we actually need to grab the last two net up here. And we're going to circle around here and delete. This is making con content aware, so it picks up what's around it and copies it. So we want to make sure it's nice and clean, nice and tidy. Let's try this again. That's better. Okay, I'm gonna go down and around. It's probably too big. I thought it might have been too big that time. Let's try that again. Okay, now we just want small ones now. That's it, small circles. Okay, I think that will look nice. We're going to actually, I reckon I'm going to save it so I don't have to save me time next time. Save. Okay. Now, we got that photo. We want to copy it. We want to go here. She really okay, so we're just gonna turn the capacity of this down a little bit. Um when I Okay, see how we can see the light globe in the background? We're just gonna make this small enough that I can drag it and we're gonna fit it into the light globe. We may not be able to fit everything in there, but we should be able to. Sorry, I'm trying to use my new tool that I've brought. I've got it like one of those little tablet things, and I only got it yesterday, so hang with me. I'm still. I'm going to have to use the mouse for this. Okay, so we got that. So we go up here, select that. And just like what we, we did before, we go here. Um, a layer mask. And then over here for the tool. Okay, we're just going to slowly go around the globe. I actually can't see the globe down the bottom here. So we might have to go a little bit more. Yeah. 
You can just see the globe down at the bottom here, so we'll just round, round, round. So I got this idea from someone else, the globe idea. I've always liked the idea of having photos in like some kind of globe. Um, but I watched a tutorial late earlier regarding how to where you can use a photo that's already been taken, like the globe photo. The gl photo I'm putting inside of it is my own photo. Um, So now we just turn this up to 100%. Um, so clearly we miss some. Miss some spots. Oh, hold on. I never turn this into a mask. Um... Let's try that again. So we've done that. Now we want to copy that in there. We want to fit this into the globe. Okay, let's try this again. Up oh, that clove. Clove around it as best as we can get it. Okay. That's as best we can get it at the moment. So it looks alright that way, but... Okay. It's not too bad. And I'll just... Just use this tool to put the stuff back in where we want it. And that's our first globe finish. Okay, we'll change that again. So we can fix this bit up here. Um, I need to change the globe for a sec. Um, okay. There you go. And then we can turn that back up. Okay. Turn that back. So I reckon we might do about five of these maybe. So I reckon we'll save as in here. We want to change it to that. Let's just go mumble jumble. Let's just type water. I don't really name my stuff, my photos. 
Where wants to save? Okay, let's try this. So if we go open, we're going to add this one and this one to it. Okay, so we're going to go that. But I want to turn it on an angle. <laughs> Not that kind of way. Um, no, I want to change this. How do I turn this on an angle? Okay, uh, I want to row. Hmm. Hi, let's try something. If I go back to its actual page, I want to edit, chop. Yeah, so if I have it like. that. Now I want to copy and then go here and paste. I should be able to have it on an angle. Yeah. Cool. And then I will go up here and go bucket. Yep. That should work. Okay, and then we also want to go um, layer layer mask. Because we want to actually mm. that ain't working. Um, let's try that again. Layer mask. Okay, let's try it again. Layer mask. Why are you not working? Why is it not working for me today? Ah. I'm very good at that, ain't I? Yeah, it's So I reckon we will do that. So when we hop it in, we'll keep it with a white background. So it might look a bit better. White background.
scrap here. Yeah, I reckon that'd do the job. I reckon we'll just have multiple different globes. Yeah, I reckon that'll look cool. And then in this one we'll go chop. Turn around, so it's still on that kind of same angle. Um, we're going to go up here, copy, paste, hopefully it's on the same angle. Um, and same thing, we want to make a transform. Something different. Still hit different. Let's just try. If I go here and go um and then you push G for the bucket. Let's just <laughs> oh, okay, let's try that again. I think we might need a smaller brush. Um, Hmm. Not sure if it's a wow moment or not. I reckon we might do something else instead. Just... Sorry about that, this is my phone. Um Let's create new, the same size, and then we'll just insert, so open, and I reckon we'll just use this photo, and we'll just copy and paste that. So I'd like them to all kind of be the same.
yeah, I reckon that will do the job. Then we can save that to face. Okay. Just gonna quickly open this. Okay, so I, I'm just looking at my YouTube channel now. That's not too bad. I like that. You can see my name and might do a little bit of adjusting later. So that's on that. And now I want to see what it's like on... Okay, we want to edit that. Uh, no. Um, I just save it too. I thought I saved. Um. Maybe I didn't. Um, should I just say this? Yes. So I should. I'll show you is once this is so that's what it's going to look like on my Facebook group. If you want to keep seeing daily photos, um, you can check out my. Facebook group, group if you want to as well or my Instagram okay so that's that um, and now the last one is I want to check is my Twitch it may I'm not sure how this is going to work while I'm streaming. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I just go to my channel. And then I've got this photo. I think I've just showed you the photo. Oopsies. I was meant to do that. Um, this photo here is what I've got on my Twitch. Um, but I might change my Twitch to the one I, we just did. Because um, I really like the one. I just made so if I go to I think it's that page no it's not to twitch I'll grab that and I can update my photo 
to that. If that's correct, it may not fit. Yep, okay. Update. Cool, that's saved. I reckon that that will look nice. Um, last one is see if I can change my posts on my photo on Twitter. I don't do much on Twitter. Um, it's pretty much I probably should be starting to do a bit more on that, but we'll see. Okay, so I've got them. The last thing I want to do is actually go to my YouTube. Here you go, my YouTube. Now I just want to fix these, this photo up. So I'm just going to remove it, re upload it. YouTube banner. And. I wish there was a way to change this. Um, I thought there might have been a way to change. That's right. We'll keep it like that. But if you missed out on anything, wanted to catch up, rewatch things, I will leave it up on here. But I will be posting the full unedited clip over on YouTube. If you would like, and there's also a link on my website if you would like to go to my website and watch the video, you can watch it from there. But that will be also still through YouTube. So, YouTube, you can watch it or Twitch. And I will be streaming tomorrow with a couple more photos to do. And I will look into different ideas. And it might be a bit of a tip or tricks or different special things we can do with Photoshop or Lightroom um, and then I might we'll work from there we might do a couple other things um, might see if the iPads charge and take you for a photo out for a photo session to see how I actually take the photos and the ideas I have behind the photos you can always I'm also doing a 70 day challenge over on Instagram if I go to Instagram I've been posting I missed out on two days this week but these are some sneak peeks of my photos um, And if I get to 70 to 100 followers, um, I will be doing another giveaway. And that will be for everyone that will follow on Twitch or that wanted to follow on um, Instagram, I'll be doing a photo giveaway. Um, just keep in mind, it will be only for those that live in Australia for the moment I have to work out if I do send something a win if there's a winner overseas I'm not sure how that goes with sending photo prints but we'll see thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow at around the same time so Anywhere from 1.30 to 2 o'clock. Could be early, could be later. But I've got it on the schedule to be 2.30. But it could be a little bit um, later. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you have learnt something from merging photos together to make ba YouTube banners. Or Facebook banners. Um, if you want me to try show you any other ways to help in photoshop let me know and i can make a video for you thank you